हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मौका उसल को मार्च हो दरी आज नया वीडियो ले रहे हो उपस्थित भाई जो कुछ इस वीडियो में मिले औरत के बारे में संपूर्ण जानकारी देने प्रयास करें कुछ सो प्लीज वाच इट वेरी केयरफुल द वीडियो इज गोना बी वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एंड इफ यू आर वाचिंग माई वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज लाइक इट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स फ्रॉम माई चैनल लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू आर अर्थ हम लोग पृथ्वी को परिचय है अर्थ इज द थर्ड प्लानट इन द सोलार सिस्टम विच इज ओनली लाइफ सस्टेनिंग प्लानट The Earth was originated 4.5 billion years ago. Our Earth was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Formed by who? Originated by who? About 29% of the total area of Earth is covered by land that includes the continents and islands that constitute lithosphere. And about 71% of the total area of Earth is covered by water that includes oceans, lakes, rivers, and fresh water that constitute hydrosphere. हमारे पृथ्वी को ट्वेंटी नाइन पर्सेंट एरिया लैंड ने कवर कर जिसमें कंटिनेंट्स एंड आइलैंड्स पर्द सेंवेन्टी वन पर्सेंट एरिया चाहे वाटर बॉडीज ने कवर कर जिसमें ओसन्स लेक्स रिवर्स एंड फ्रेश वाटर पर्द द पोलर रिजन्स अफ आवर अर्थ आर कवर्ड बाई आइस दैट इंक्लूड्स द एंटार्टिक आइस सीत एंड आर्टिक आइस पैक हम पृथ्वी को पोलर रिजन आइस ने कवर कर जिसमें एंटार्टिक आइस सीत रर्टिक आइस पैक पर्द द ग्राविटेशनल इंट्रैक्शन बिट्विन अर्थ एंड मून कज टाइट्स अन अर्थ अर्थ र मून को ग्राविटेशनल इंट्रैक्शन अर्थ में टाइट्स जेनरेट हो अर्थ इज द डेन्सेस्ट प्लानेट इन द सोलर सीस्टम नाउ लेट्स टक अबाउट द history about the origin of earth how the earth was originated many scientists have given their own opinions or proposals called hypothesis in this topic i will talk only about the three hypotheses that is the first one is the planetesimal hypothesis the second one is the nebular hypothesis and the last one is the tidal hypothesis let's talk about the planetesimal hypothesis for the origin of the earth The hypothesis was proposed by Chamberlin and Moulton in 1904 and thus called Chamberlin and Moulton hypothesis. Your hypothesis le kya bancha bhane earth was originated from sun. Let's see how. According to this hypothesis, the sun and the star came nearer to each other that increased the tidal force on the surface of the sun which caused to break up the mass of the sun. and the number of gases balls were shot forth in the space later on the gases balls cooled down and formed small solid masses called planets and planetoids one of the planet was the earth hypothesis is nebular hypothesis the hypothesis was given by kant in 1755 and it was later on modified by laplace in 1796 your hypothesis le ki huncha bhane earth was originated from nebula a large cloud of hot gases according to this hypothesis in the ancient time there was a nebula rotating in the space later on the nebula began to cool down and its size was contracted the speed of rotation and centrifugal force increased as a result gaseous ring was formed around the nebula that began to rotate around it the separated ring formed into the globe similarly 10 rings were formed around the nebula out of which 9 rings formed planets and one of the ring broken down to form planetoids this way the earth was originated according to this hypothesis the third in the last hypothesis is the tidal hypothesis it was given by jens and jeffrey in 1925 and thus called jens and jeffrey hypothesis your hypothesis le ke bancha bhane earth was originated from sun this hypothesis is very much similar to that of the planetesimal hypothesis This is the most popular and widely accepted hypothesis about the origin of the earth. According to this hypothesis, in ancient time a large star came nearer to the sun. As a result, tidal pull was developed on the surface of the sun, raising the surface of the sun. 
when the star came to the nearest distance to the sun huge mass of sun was detached from it the detached mass was highly unstable and immediately broken down into the 10 fragments out of which nine of them formed planets and one of the fragment was broken down into planetoids in this way the earth was originated according to this hypothesis let's talk about the physical characteristics of the earth अब अर्थ को कई फिजिकल क्यारेक्टर स्टिक्स को बारे में कुरा करूँ द इक्वेटोरियल रेडियस इज 6378.1 किलोमीटर, थ्री पोलार रेडियस इज 6356.8 किलोमीटर, इक्वेटोरियल सरकमफेरेंस इज 40075.017 किलोमीटर, वेर एज मेरिजोनियल सरकमफेरेंस इज 40007.86 किलोमीटर, द मास इज 5.97237 into 10 to the power 25 kg. It's nearly about 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. The mean density is 5.514 gram per cubic centimeter, whereas the surface gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. The escape velocity is 11.186 kilometer per second, and the Earth has only one satellite that is small. Let's talk about the composition of Earth. Earth ko composition ko kura kar kere. The Earth has three layers that is crust, mantle, and core. So crust, crust is the outermost layer and the thinnest layer of all. It has the thickness about 5 to 100 km. The temperature ranges from 20 degrees Celsius to 870 degrees Celsius. The crust is divided into two types of crust that is the continental crust and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is highly composed of granite whereas the oceanic crust is highly composed of basalt. The second layer is mantle. It is the layer between crust and coal. It is the thickest layer of all. In the center of mantle, the rock is a viscous like syrup. Iron and magnesium are abundantly found in this layer. The temperature ranges from 870 degrees Celsius to 2200 degrees Celsius. The innermost layer is the core. It is divided into two types, the liquid outer core and the solid inner core. It is responsible for the Earth's magnetic field. The temperature ranges from 2200 degrees Celsius to 5000 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about the atmosphere of the Earth. The layer of air that surrounds the Earth is called atmosphere. The atmosphere of Earth is divided into five layers. First layer is troposphere. It is the lowermost layer. The thickness is up to 16 km from the surface of the Earth. The topmost layer of troposphere is tropopause. The temperature is about 56 degrees Fahrenheit. The second layer is the stratosphere. The thickness ranges from 16 km to 50 km. The protective layer that is the ozone layer is found in this layer. The temperature is about minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Third layer is the mesosphere. Its thickness is 50 to 80 km. The temperature is about minus 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It is the coldest place on the Earth. Fourth layer is thermosphere. Its thickness is 80 to 720 km. The effect of solar radiation is very high in this layer. The temperature in this layer is very high that the cancerous molecules split into ions. Thus, the layer is also known as iron layer. The fifth layer is exosphere. It is found above 720 km from the surface of the Earth. As there is no effect of gravity in this layer, the gaseous molecules move freely in this layer. The chance of collision between the gaseous molecules is very low in this layer. So this layer is also called as fringe layer. So this is all about the Earth. Thank you for watching this video.